Hey, Dustin here from Retro Supply, and today I want to do a quick tutorial with you to help you get a very slightly grunged, roughened effect in Illustrator. Um, and it kind of gives you this like old print effect, or it could even look like really well done, but like slightly off hand lettering. It's a really cool effect. Anyways, um, a couple notes before we start. First of all, a lot of people ask about fonts when they see these tutorials. The font I'm using is Futura Bold. Yes, it costs a pretty penny to buy, but it's so worth it because it's so useful. And um, I really believe that these kind of things pay for themselves because you will use them so often and um, they will make so much of your work look that much better. So the theme here is Refuel Coffee Roasting, and I named it that because I just got back from Creative South 2016, which was amazing. Thanks to Mike and all the guests and all the people helping with the... Um, conference. It was truly an amazing conference. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to round out these letters a little bit because when you print stuff or you draw stuff, you're not going to get these super duper crazy sharp edges, right? So we need to fix that first of all. So we're just going to highlight everything. We're going to go to effect, stylize, round corners, and then the cool part is we can always click preview here and kind of get an idea of what we're getting ourselves into. So you can see as soon as I did that, everything kind of shifted just a little bit. And depending on the size of your work, you can kind of play with how much intensity you want on this. As a general rule, I would say less is more. Don't go too crazy or it ends up just looking kind of silly and amateurish. So I'm going to go with two pixels here and say, okay. So already this kind of has a cool look to it. Uh, I'm not loving that corner there, but we'll deal with that for now. Um, and then we're going to go to effects, and this is where we get like this like slightly roughened part all around the edges. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to go to distort and transform, roughen, and this is tricky because watch what happens when I push preview. Wow, ah, I don't even know, I don't even know how this actually gets used like at these settings, but this is what it's set at. So we obviously need to fix this because this does not look real. So we're going to click smooth and that's going to round out the corners a little bit. And then in size, you'll notice it only lets you go down to one, which is still too much or zero. So we are going to take it down where it doesn't want us to go with a secret little hack here. We're going to just go point two and watch what happens. Much more subtle, much more realistic. And then you can kind of tweak, you know, how often you want the, roughening effect to happen. So as you increase that, you'll see like you're getting more and more subtle lines here. See how that's happening? So that's really up to you how you decide to do that. So I personally, uh, I think I'm going to go for like, I actually like this, 14 looks cool. So we got it smooth, it's looking great on everything. Press okay, and just like that, we have a slightly roughened effect. Now I will be totally honest with you here, I'm not super happy with this curve on the R, but that can be fixed, but that's for a different tutorial. So that is how to slightly roughen your typography in Illustrator. By the way, if you're wondering about the texture in the background, that is part of our, well, I'll tell you right here. It's part of our standard issue overlay, grunge overlays pack you can find on retrosupply.co. And as you can see, you get tons of these overlays, like it's just crazy ridiculous. There's tons of them and they're a quick way to make your work kind of have that cool texture to it. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, let me know and tell me what video you'd like to see next. I want to do these more often. And if you tell me what you like, I will make that video for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.